All right, so let's implement a packaging structure. Let's implement a strategy so we can better organize our classes. And let's use the package by feature. Now, in order to do that, let's go here, create a new package, and let's start with the features package, like we just seen. And let's add the first feature, actually the only one that we have called restaurants here. All right. Now let's move the, all the classes that have UI resemblance or presentation resemblance. So let's move the activity here like this. There's a bug on Android Studio. I don't know why this happens, but if I go and flatten the packages and then deflatten the packages, it shows correctly the refactored package class. So let's also move the adapter here like this. And already these two classes are basically part of the restaurants feature. Let's also add the view model here as presentation. And right now, when you're looking for the features of this app, you can see that there is a restaurants here a feature and you can find all the classes here that are related to that feature. Now let's close this a bit and let's focus on some other classes. So we have here a response and a rest client uh, like this. Now these ones, I usually add them to a API package. So let's create an API package here and add the restaurants feature that we have. So for the restaurants feature in the API package, let's add the restaurant rest client here and then the restaurant response like this. So we have finished the API. Let's close this a bit. And now let's focus on the actual model, the domain package. So we can see that we have a restaurant, we have a restaurant display item. These two are basically domain objects, plain domain objects. So let's create here a domain dot models, right? Because these are models and we want to create actually a new one, which is the feature called restaurants. So it might seem redundant, but if you have more features, it will sure make worth the while to create this kind of package by feature for each of these packages, main packages. So let's move the actual restaurant here like this. Perfect. And let's move actually the type as well, because the type is again, a domain model here and the display item as well because that's a domain object that we interact with within our app and finally we have the parser and the rules so let's do something similar to them let's add a data package that they usually add for repositories like this one here or for parsing objects so our parser should be into a data and let's call this restaurants as our restaurants feature is. So let's add the parser here in the data package like this. So we have the data with the feature restaurants and with the corresponding class. Let's do the same with the restaurant rules. Now for business objects like restaurant rules is, I usually create a package called business rules. We can call it just business like this. And that's enough for you to understand that here you can find stakeholders uh, rules and all of this business logic. Let's move the restaurant rules here. And actually let's add here a new package. We can add it here as well called restaurants like this. Actually, I think now nah, he, he can't find it. So let's, let's add it afterwards. I don't know. It used to work in a previous version of Android Studio. So let's add here restaurants because this is the business actually feature that we want to encapsulate the restaurant rules within. So let's refactor this one here and perfect. We have added in our business main package, a restaurants feature with our class. So what we can see here that we have some main packages. Let's ignore the mocks because that's just a separate mock package. We don't really care about it, but we have main packages like API, business, data, domain, and features. Now API should hold classes like responses, REST clients, API services, and so. Business, on the other hand, should have business rules. And as you can see, we already have a resemblance, 
every main package like API and business has the feature packages within. And in these feature packages, we have the actual classes. Now the same goes for data here with the restaurant parse, sir, inside the restaurant's feature package. And for domain as well, we have a models and then the restaurant feature and then the actual models for this feature. Now in the features package, the main features package, we have the restaurant features. So right now we understand what our app does. I mean, we have a restaurant's features, so it has something to do with restaurants. And if we want to change something, we have in this package everything we need. We have the adapter, here we have the activity and the view model. And right now the packaging structuring looks much better with this approach.